I've seen several videos lately with titles like Effortless Research with These AI Tools or How to Use AI to Write Your Literature Review in a Week and Don't Get Left Behind to Use These AI Tools. And these kind of headlines create the impression that not only can you use AI to make your work a lot easier, but that you should be using them or you'll be at a massive disadvantage. But here's the secret. It's not true. There is no AI platform that can do the work for you. And if you believe the hype and trust it too much, it can cause far more problems than it solves. There is a very limited set of tasks where AI can be used effectively and ethically. So it's great for proofreading for typos and grammar. There's no problem with that. It's also fantastic for transcription if you have recorded interview data, though you should of course still listen, check the transcription and correct any mistakes. And it can be useful if you're just starting out in a new field and there are concepts that you don't understand. You can ask ChatGPT for an explanation and it will usually do a good job, though again, you should verify through other sources. And finally, and this is where AI can do things that humans can't, you can use machine learning techniques to analyze huge amounts of data. But even then, you need to know enough to be able to check what it's done on your behalf. But if you want to use ChatGPT or any other platform to generate text for you, or to paraphrase papers to avoid plagiarism, or to summarize an area of the literature so you don't have to read the papers, just don't do it. Aside from any ethical issues, the danger with relying on AI is that the results tend to look good on superficial reading, but it makes mistakes that you might not spot if you don't have the expertise. And it will always make mistakes because it doesn't understand anything. So as I said in my last video on this, anything that you submit as your work, you have to be able to defend. If an examiner asks you a question about something that doesn't make sense because of some AI hallucination, you're in trouble. Because if they spot one instance where you didn't do the work, it calls your whole thesis into question. Now for sure, some people will get away with it, but I think it's just not worth the risk. But what about these other platforms that do things like providing research topics or summarizing the literature? Well, something to bear in mind when you listen to YouTubers recommending these platforms is that some of them are being paid to promote them and not declaring it. And I know this because one AI company offered me money to review their product, which I obviously refused, and they told me who else they'd worked with which they probably shouldn't have done. So if something sounds like a sales pitch for an AI platform, treat it like one and be very skeptical about any software that promises to solve all of your problems. If we take summarizing the literature as an example, the big issue for both humans and AI is that a lot of published research is flawed, perhaps in the research design or the interpretation of data and it takes a bit of experience to spot these problems. For example, in my own research, I used a technique called atomic force microscopy. And this technique was in some ways very easy. So you could learn enough to run the machine and get images in an afternoon. But the images it generated could have artifacts in them, basically giving false results. Now with a bit of experience, you could spot these easily, but there were so many published papers with these kinds of problems. Now, whether AI could spot these problems or not is almost irrelevant, because how do you know? If you don't look at the papers yourself, how can you put your trust in what an AI platform is telling you? If you don't have the expertise to check, it seems risky. Now, if you do have the expertise, then maybe an AI platform can assist you in some ways, but that's quite a major caveat. There is no way around developing your own expertise and doing the reading yourself. There are ways to do that a lot more efficiently, which I talk about elsewhere, but you've still got to do the work. And ultimately, 
that's where the fun is. So when you solve a problem you've been struggling with or get a flash of insight or when you find a paper that changes the way you think about your subject, those are the moments that make academic research worthwhile. And ultimately, in a world where people are using AI to churn out mediocre work, the people with genuine skill and expertise, far from being left behind, will be the ones to stand out. So as always, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, you can like and subscribe, but more importantly, please share it with others. And finally, if you'd like to know more about what I do, please head to my website at phd.academy and leave your email so I can let you know directly when I publish new videos. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.